Now to a positively jacked story. This week, local high school students will travel to compete in the state science fair in Lakeland. They are among a group of elite budding scientists who will also represent their schools at the International Science and Engineering Fair in May. So this morning, we begin a series of reports introducing you to these standout students. Once you put this wristband on you, mm -hmm. it's going to measure the heart rate and galvanic skin response res um, measurements. This is local ninth grader Sarah Park demonstrating a device she created that measures emotion by listening to music. Doesn't hurt. No. Music can um, give the hormones of serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine, which common medications for mental health also release, but without any symptoms. So that's why I wanted to target music and relaxation in order to create Spark Care Plus, which is a personalized music therapy device. It involves coding and programming, both self-taught, by the way, spawned from Sarah's love of robotics, her incredible musical talent, and a desire to help people like her grandmother. My grandmother um, suffered from severe anxiety and depression, but when she heard my violin playing, that was like the one thing that would um, give her some positive emotions. It is her hope her invention can help others battling mental health problems without the use of medication. So using the favorite genre and tempo of music, the past biometric measurements, and then also the participants rating for each music on a one to five scale. It can detect like, and it can find the best piece of music that will most optimally help them relax. Her project has been wowing science and engineering experts for the last year, winning the regional science fair in her category just a few months ago. The Bowles School student is now headed to state and the international competitions. At the age of just 15, Sarah is not just a scientist. She is also an artist and an accomplished pianist, too. As if that is not impressive enough, after our interview, Sarah Park took part in the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra Young Artist Competition. This is video of her competing. She looks beautiful. She won also. She will now have a chance to perform a solo with, with the older people, right? The Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra in May. Sarah is one of six local students who will be competing in the International Science and Engineering Fair. So be sure to join us tomorrow at this time at 840 when we introduce you to another one of these local student scientists. They really are just amazing what they're doing at such a young age. We'll be right back.